Hello everyone. Today the topic is about simple lipids. So simple lipids are fatty acid plus alcohol. Now this alcohol can be glycerol or any other alcohol. So to define these simple lipids are esters of fatty acids with glycerol or any other alcohol. Now what is an ester bond is when an acid reacts with an alcohol with the removal of water molecule reaction between an acid and an alcohol with the removal of water molecule that is minus h2o it forms an ester bond so here the reaction between a fatty acid and an alcohol which can be glycerol or any other alcohol after removal of water molecule it forms an ester bond so that forms simple lipids so simple definition they are esters of fatty acids with glycerol or any other alcohol now there are two types of simple lipids one is waxes and the other are fats or oils or triacyl glycerols or neutral fats now coming to waxes they are esters of fatty acid plus a long chain alcohol that is an ester bond is formed between a fatty acid and a long chain alcohol now these are wide spread in nature they form secretion on insects leaves fruits etc they are of not of importance in human metabolism but they are used as base for lubricants cosmetic preparation candle preparation etc now next type of simple lipid is fats and oils or triacyl glycerols or otherwise called as neutral fats these are esters of fatty acid plus glycerol now here the alcohol is glycerol when it was in waxes the alcohol was a long chain alcohol whereas in fats and oils or triacyl glycerols as the name itself tells it is a fatty acid plus a glycerol now this triacyl glycerol or otherwise called as neutral fat is the storage form of fat in the animals this is stored in the adipose tissue and it serves as reservoir for energy during starvation reservoir for energy during starvation so as the name itself tells tri acyl glycerol it means one glycerol molecule one glycerol molecule is forming esterified bond with three fatty acids so these are tri acyl plus glycerol so this forms tri acyl glycerol now here some more interesting points about neutral fats or tri acyl glycerols so as mentioned these tri acyl glycerols or neutral fats are the storage form of fat these are storage form of fat in the animals now how they are stored they are stored in anhydrous form what is the meaning of anhydrous form is they are stored without the help of water molecules there is no need of any water molecules while storage of fats so in carbohydrates when we see about carbohydrates the storage form of carbohydrate is glycogen the storage form of carbohydrate is glycogen so this glycogen 1 gram of glycogen requires about 3 grams of water molecules to get stored so this is the difference between the storage form of carbohydrates and the storage form of what uh, fats so in the fats the storage form of storage form is triacyl glycerol whereas in carbohydrates the storage form is glycogen the carbohydrate storage form needs water for its storage whereas these fats neutral fats or triacyl glycerols they don't need water they are stored in anhydrous form now these give 10 times more energy 
when compared to glycogen and they also supply energy for 2 to 3 months when compared with glycogen which only supplies energy for less than one day during starvation. So during starvation whenever a person is not having any meals during that time the energy supply from triacylglycerol sustains for about 2 to 3 months. Whereas the energy supplied by glycogen sustains only for less than one day. Now next point is about the types of triacylglycerols. So there are two types of triacylglycerols. Simple triacylglycerols and mixed triacylglycerols. So as mentioned earlier in the structure of triacylglycerol that is one glycerol molecule. So glycerol is an alcohol. It has hydroxyl groups. So it has three hydroxyl groups. Now each of the hydroxyl group is esterified to a fatty acid. So one glycerol molecule has three alcohol groups. Now these three alcohol groups have are esterified to three different fatty or three fatty acid molecules. Now if these fatty acid molecules are same for all the three fatty acid molecules are same then it is called as a simple triacylglycerol whereas if the fatty acid molecules are different if the alcohols or the OH groups are getting esterified to different fatty acid molecules then they are called as mixed triacylglycerols. So esterification of the three hydroxyl groups of glycerol with the same fatty acid forms a simple triacylglycerol whereas esterification of the three hydroxyl groups of glycerol with different fatty acid forms mixed triacylglycerol. So example for simple triacylglycerol is tripalmitin whereas example for mixed triacylglycerol is 1,3-dipalmitylolein. This is about simple lipids. Simple lipids are esters of fatty acid with glycerol or any other alcohol. They are of two types, waxes, fats and oils and neutral fats. And then the main storage form of fats or neutral uh, fats or triacylglycerol in animals is the triacylglycerol. And triacylglycerols are again there are two types simple and mixed based on the fatty acid that is getting attached to glycerol these are classified into simple and mixed thank you